Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is my channel about home brewing. If you're into beer and home brewing, consider becoming a subscriber and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything when I post a video like this one. Today we're trying out the uh, Mango Habanero IPA from Smiskin Brewery. Have a look at that lovely label. So it's a beer with mango puree in it and habanero pepper. It's going to be an interesting one to taste. I've also got the recipe, but first let's get this one into a glass. This was kindly given to me by Andreas from Smiskin Brewery. He also sent me a... I think it's a Pilsner, but I'm doing this first because always the hoppy beers are pushed front, pushed to the front. Okay, so it's very good filled. It is bottle condition. Has been sitting for a few days in the fridge. So label out, guys. It's a lovely looking beer and I'm prepared today. I have a flashlight. Yes, looking out for sediment. Gonna end it there. Uh, there's a lot of sediment down in the bottom, but it stayed on where it's tight. So I said it has been sitting cold crashing in the uh, fridge. Okay, it's a very nice looking beer. It's not that dark as you see it. Uh, it's more like yeah, that color, maybe not, like, like that. So you see, it's a very, very inviting looking beer, quite pale. So we have a hazy, pale, like a lemony color to it. You don't see that. Okay, so the flashlight died. Let's give this one a nose. Yeah, it's all about the mango here. Mango. Some breadiness. Breadiness. I can smell bread. And also like... Wouldn't say... Like a custard, not a vanilla custard, uh, like a custard without the vanilla. The uh, smell of this one ain't far from an, another video that is going up shortly or has gone up. You know, it's like kind of this uh, back to the future thing, uh, doing these YouTube videos. Okay, so mango, bread. It's not custard, but it reminds me of something like that. Let's dive in. Mm. It's a very flavorful beer. Not very like pungent on the aroma, but a lot of flavor. It has some sweetness to it. I'm looking for the habanero. You got a lot of mango. I can't really scent that uh, mosaic. Uh, I did glance at the recipe. It's mosaic in there. I don't really get that uh, spare tire, burnt tire taste, which I often get from mosaic. Very good mouthfeel. It has quite a 
high level of carbonation. No signs of uh, oxidization in this beer at all. It's, like I said, quite thick, but it's as a sweetness, a, a bite from the, uh, the hops. It ain't super clean. It has some uh, um, like esters. I don't mean that in a bad way. You, you, you get the, uh, the fermentation flavor. We're gonna have a look at the recipe, see what yeast to use to see if we can um, see the temperature. It's a really nice brew, Andreas. Thank you. This Mexican mango habanero IPA, juicy heat in a bundle style. Um, I don't get the heat, sorry. Let's have a look at the recipe. And the recipe also goes up on my Patreon site in the beer mail section. Okay, he used 91% Pilsner, 5.5% oats and 3.5% sugar. That's 5 kilo of Pilsner, 300 grams of oats, flaked oats and 200 grams of sugar. Four hops, he used mosaic, 20 grams at uh, 60. Uh, Twelve percent alpha acid. That uh, gave uh, twenty-five IBUs according to the uh, yeah, calculations here. And he used fifteen grams of mosaic at fifteen, gave nine IBUs. And uh, at five minutes, he used also fifteen grams of mosaic that gave about four IBUs. And at flame out, he used. 15 grams of Columbus that gave zero abuse and that's not true. So you, if you add hops to a uh, wort, if it's hot, you're gonna get uh, some bitterness, of course. So we can't really trust the calculations. And uh, you don't have to boil hops to get bitterness. Okay, and this was dry hop with 50 grams of uh, mosaic. 50 grams is, uh, let's say it's like uh, one and a half ounces. Some of the area, okay? And uh, it was a lot of mango puree in this one. He used one kilo three times. A kilo is about 2.2 pounds. So he used one kilo in the boil at 50 minutes. Cool. And he used, sorry, he used two kilos. He used two kilos. One kilo in a boil, 50 minutes, and one kilo in the uh, fermenter after five days of fermentation. And this were fermented with the Saffel USO5. Okay. And Saffel USO5 is quite a clean yeast. I do get some, some esters there. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say anything about the temperature that this was fermented in. Maybe uh, Andreas from Smithkin can you comment down below. Or you do you have a fermentation fridge like I have, so you can control the uh, the, the fermentation temperature. If you don't have a fermentation uh, fridge like I have, there's my. Uh, other approach to it, the heating system, where you do it the other way around. Okay, this is a control, this control right here, it controls both the cold and the heat, but I have another solution for that, but you have to choose the right yeast. But I have a YouTube video on that also, so I'm gonna put a card up and a card down below a way to do it if you don't have the room or yeah don't want to do uh, this fermentation fridge style. So please Andreas comment down below.
Okay, but this was a very nice brew. Um, I think he said that he was pleased with it. He should be. And you guys have the recipe now, so you can try it out for yourself. What could we improve? It is a very good beer. Maybe we could try to get it to ferment a little bit cleaner. Um, we have to uh, count in that this is a bottle fermented beer and that secondary taste I get, the fermentation taste I'm talking about, it could be from the bottle fermentation. I've sent that before. It could be the difference between the caked one and the uh, the bottle fermented one. Um, Andreas has a caked version. My paper says so. And um, so maybe he also have tried the uh, the bottle one. Um, I did a comparison in another video with a New England IPA. I brewed. I'm going to put a card up where I just. I found that also like fermentation note there. So um, often we control the temperature very good when we're doing uh, the fermentation. And then uh, after that, we like put some, uh, some sugars in and, and place the bottles quite warm. And that can bring an extra side note to it. So I think it's, it might be like an excellent brewed beer that shouldn't be bottle conditioned or it should be bottle conditioned in a lower controlled temperature. But I mean picky now because it's a nice beer, but I think it's better kegged, okay? So with that said, I'm gonna wrap up this video cheers guys and thanks andreas from smiskin for giving me a beer to try out here on the channel if anyone else wants to send me beer mail you will find my contact information down below in the description box also if you like this butterfly like style opener i have links down below for that but Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. If you want like more content and uh, my recipes and uh, there's my Patreon page to check out. And of course, all the back catalog of all my other videos. So cheers guys and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.